Letitia says, I love this. You are so right. Why are guys afraid of commitment? Women are afraid of commitment too. Lots of people are afraid of commitment. It's actually one of the big complaints that a lot of guys have in the men's dating industry as well is they, a lot of guys are like, why do women just want to go and hook up with lots of guys and sleep around and not be with one guy and I want a really awesome, amazing, special woman and I can't see it. There, there's a lot of stuff on both sides, right? And guys aren't necessarily afraid of commitment. It's just that they take commitment really seriously. And so most guys, they don't want to commit to somebody unless they are really serious about it. One thing, kind of one of the difference between a lot of women and men is that a lot of women tend to speak their truth from their feelings and their experience in the moment, right? And a lot of men, their word is their bond. And so if they say something and it it, it gets mixed up, then there it's like all of a sudden as a human being, they value themselves less. And so it's important for a lot of men that if they commit to a relationship, that they're honest and true to it. Because if they don't, it's like everybody looks at them as a horrible person. They look at themselves as a horrible person. They end up going to their friends and their friends are like, yeah, you're kind of a horrible person, right? And so it's important for a lot of guys that if they get into a situation that it's a good situation for them and that they want to be in the right situation. And so they, you know, it, it's a big deal really, right? Like think about the idea of like marriage commitment. It's like, you know, you're committing to uh, yourself to somebody for life. There, there's these women that I've talked to in our community that are like, why are men so afraid of marriage? And it's like, uh, he's committing himself to somebody for life. <laughs> like that's a big deal, right? So you gotta, you gotta remember, it's, it, it tends to be a bigger deal for men. Men look at it as a bigger deal. Lovely Leo lady says, all was great, really like each other. And then went cold, says he wants to talk, but never has time. A lot of intense family stuff. Is it possible he doesn't, he really doesn't have time or is just not that into it? It could be either one, right? And so what you need to do is the things that we talked about in this video, where you're putting yourself into a position of power, because the more power you have in your relationship, the, the easier it is to figure out what's going on and to say, hey, you know, this doesn't work for me. And I want a relationship where we have open communication. You know, we're talking about things, we're honest about things, you know, and the more power you have for yourself and the more you have an ability to walk away if it's a bad situation, the more likely he is to like step up and start figuring things out and start, you know, being, it actually makes him more attracted to you. And so, I mean, watch what it is that he does. And yeah, I mean, he might have a lot of family stuff and you need to figure out whether that works for you or not, right? If he's got lots of family stuff, you need to have other things going on and abundance in your life so that you can go out and do other things and hang out with other guys if, you know, if, if it's not going to end up working with you. Wow, there's a lot of... <laughs> Met Monk says, could be your mom. <laughs> I don't know. You're my little sister, Met Monk. You are my little sister. So what else do we have here? Hippie Chick says, hi, Matt. The video got cut off last time. Enjoying listening. Thank you. Yeah, I, we had some technical difficulties. The stream ended up getting cut off completely. It sucks, but, you know, what are you going to do? B says, he initially told me he was looking for a wife. Later, it changed. Now I have a title of his fair lady after eight months. The good thing, I've not agreed to sex even though he's begged for it. Okay. Mrs. Fry says, hi from Washington State. Hello. B says, he now says he doesn't want marriage. My desire is marriage. Well... Sounds like he's not the right guy. And this is why you need abundance. This is why you need abundance. What about if a guy says, I love you from the first date? And he already proposed to me after a few dates. So there's one thing that you need to realize about guys. For women, there's kind of this, this emotional thing. They say that men 
fall in love with their eyes and women fall in love with their ears, right? So for a lot of women, it takes time to kind of build up this emotional thing. For guys, a guy looks at a girl and I've seen, I've seen this with so many guys. It's happened to me. It's happened to every guy I've ever met, right? Where they look at a girl and they go, oh my God, she's so hot and so amazing. And then they get this idealization in their head about this woman. And they're just like, <gasps> you know, and they're just like immediately, right? They, they like get her number. Sometimes they'll, they'll just go and approach her and talk to her and get her number. And then he goes home. And I've, I've seen so many guys do this. He goes home and then he's like, in his mind, he's like thinking about marriage and what your babies are going to look like and like all these things, right? And he's like visualizing your life together and like these romantic dates that he's going to take you on. He's going to take you around the world together and all these things, right? And he's doing this based on this this imagination that he has, this idealization of who you are. So he's not doing this based on you. He's doing this based on his image of you, which is different than who you are. And so what needs to happen is you need to slow him down and start connecting with him in a real way because emotional connections grow over time, right? This is like some kind of biological connection where he sees you and he's immediately like, oh my God, she's amazing, right? And so you need to slow him down and connect with him emotionally because that, that and, and start revealing things about yourself because he's, he's gonna start seeing these things about yourself and he's gonna be like, oh, I didn't think she was like, I didn't realize she shows up, you know, 15 to 20 minutes late every single time, everywhere she goes, right? And so it's, all these realities are gonna start hitting him. Like, oh, I didn't realize that she farts in her sleep. I didn't realize that she, you know, like picks her nose when she thinks nobody's looking, but everybody sees, you know, like he's gonna start seeing all these things about you, right? And so what you need to do, and, and if he sees, starts seeing those things and the, the idealization drops, what's gonna happen is he's gonna disappear. And so what you need to do if you really like this guy and you're like, okay, I like him, but he's kind of coming on a little bit strong is you need to slow him down and start connecting with him in a real uh, emotional way. And we talk a lot about this in different things. And if you want like a full kind of system on how to do that, go check out, go join our pro our community over at the goddesscommunity.com.